uh, on the phone with me right now ahead of visiting our fair town once again, Scarborough's own Stephen Page. How are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks. Uh, well, very, very glad to uh, to talk to you. Been some I've been wanted to do for a good portion of my life, so it's a really cool day for me today. But you're coming back to the Cano Theater stage tomorrow evening. Uh, we just gave out some tickets to some Lucky Cruise listeners. Uh, I, I was wondering how many times have you been to Fort McMurray now? I believe last time was like just before the pandemic kind of really kicked in. Yeah, we were I think we were there in 2019, I think. Uh, and then I play at least a couple times with Bare Naked Ladies as well. So I remember playing in like in the 90s playing in some kind of like tennis bubble kind of place. Does yes. That oh, yes. That? I do remember that. Yeah. It was uh, uh, kind of one of those inflatable structures. Yes. I'm, I think I would <laughs> say that was about 95 we played there. So yeah, this is at least my third, if not my fourth time playing in, in Fort McMurray. Well, welcome back. I was uh, snooping around and I saw that tomorrow is the last stop on your, uh, your tour in Canada for now down yeah. into the States again. D- do you notice a difference between Canadian U.S. audiences or more like a city to city sort of thing? Uh, well, I think I think you do. You definitely do get a city to city thing, but I think in general, um, you know, Canadians knew me and and Bare Naked Ladies and our music before most Americans. So some Americans, Americans who tuned in early, like let's say with the Gordon album, they kind of still treat us like their little secret. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> where Canada, because we had we were so ubiquitous everywhere, it's a little more like people from all walks of life come to the shows. It's a little less um, niche, I guess. But at the same time, the nice thing is I think everybody kind of feels like, like I get people all the time who, who say things like, well, I saw you back in 1990 at <laughs> such and such a bar or whatever else. Because there's this kind of sense of like, who discovered you first? You're right. Or then you know, at the same time, you have people who are like, my grandparents played your music in their car. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's a weird thing being older now and having these three generations of people who come to shows. Um, and you, that's a lot more common in Canada where it's like you'll see three and sometimes four generations of people all sitting together in the show. Yeah, all coming together. Yeah, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> you put out a new album, Excelsior. I mean, really, it's only been a few months now. How has the release been the, and the reaction? I imagine that we might maybe hear some selections from that at the show tomorrow. Yeah, we'll play a couple songs from it. I mean, uh, that's the thing when you, when, you, when you have a long career with a lot of different records and you have to kind of create a, a set list that shows where you're where you're at and where you're going and so the audience can share in that and catch up with you but you also want to uh play all the songs that they remember from their youth or their childhood or their you know first marriage or whatever the other thing <laughs> might be yeah and uh, so you know we, we play we play a range of material but i would say that yeah the stuff from excelsior has been great and the fans have really supported me with this record because i i made this pretty well by myself in pandemic times, you know, locked down at home. And, you know, my, my friends, Craig and Kevin, do get to play on it and stuff. But for the most part, it's mostly me. And uh, I'd never really made a record like that before. So it was uh, daunting and a little bit scary to put it out there. But the response has been really, really, really nice. Thank you so much for indulging me. And thanks for taking the time to chat this morning, Stephen. Um, so happy to have you back in town, back at the Keanu Theater stage tomorrow night. Awesome. Thanks so much.